Oh, my word. If my life kept going this way, I was going to have to really consider using proper curse words, because sugar just didn't cut this. I stared at the bank of monitors in front of me in silence, my mysterious third soul bond, Wild, hovering awkwardly in the corner while trying to look like he wasn't actually hovering awkwardly in the corner. He was so controlled, so rigid, that the fact he didn't seem to speak wasn't the reason I had no read on him whatsoever. It was his body language that gave me almost nothing. Actions spoke louder than words, though, and this man, this daemon soul bond of mine, had security footage of my apartment, my old workplace, even the streets where I used to go running in the mornings. Onyx, his business partner, had given me a key to his apartment so I could confront Wilde about why he'd been avoiding me. When I'd made the split-second decision to come up here, I hadn't expected this. This was probably the last thing I'd expected. Is this... live? I asked hesitantly. There was nothing particularly interesting happening on the screens. It was early Sunday morning, and the streets were mostly deserted. While this whole thing was a little surreal, it was kind of a relief to see that, at least from the outside, my apartment had been left alone for the past couple of weeks. One of my neighbor's cars was parked in its usual spot, the lights flicking on in her apartment while the windows of mine remained dark.